Singapore intends to harness the power of nature in its fight against climate change. The Environment Minister shared details at a meeting of a key UN body being held in Singapore for the first time. Boosting natural coastal defenses like mangroves and restoring inland forests with native trees and shrubs. These are some of the ways Singapore plans to combat climate change. Besides capturing carbon emissions that drive global warming, they will complement possible man-made fixes like polders to protect the island's coastlines from rising sea levels. Mangroves will be restored or conserved in areas including Pulau Ubin and the future Mandai Mangrove and Mudflat Nature Park. And at inland parks and nature reserves, 250,000 native trees and shrubs will be planted over the next 10 years as part of a forest restoration plan. This will support our biodiversity and importantly further mitigate climate mitigation and strengthen our resilience. Singapore is clear-eyed about our vulnerabilities. But we can face the future with confidence. For we know we are taking early, decisive action that is underpinned by robust climate science. Mr. Masagos was speaking at a meeting of the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change. Over the next two days, they will map out the structure of a synthesis report that's part of the IPCC's current assessment cycle on the state of climate change. It will be both uh, information for the risks that we will face as well as the opportunities that we will be able to utilize in making our economies stronger and cleaner. It's due ahead of a global stock take in 2023 when countries will review their national commitments to climate action as part of the Paris Agreement. For urbanized Singapore, the report will be of particular relevance. There's a big focus towards urban or settlement related research. So we're looking into how um, we can adapt in cities to climate impacts. Uh, and also because there are lots of uh, mitigation opportunities in urban systems that uh, the IPCC focuses in. Singapore plans to deliver the third edition of its own national climate change study in 2022. The study will take into account international findings and provide further scientific evidence for future climate policy.